Why does a mirror reverse right and left but not up and down? It's a question that crops up perennially in the letters and queries columns of magazines and newspapers. And it was the inspiration for Lewis Carroll's Alice Through the Looking Glass. Alice Theodora Rakes, not to be confused with Alice Little, after whom the fictional Alice was modelled, was another of Carroll's young friends. On one occasion in 1868, Carroll put an orange in her right hand and then asked her to stand in front of a mirror and say which hand the reflection had the orange in. She said the left hand and Carol asked her to explain. She finally replied, if I was on the other side of the glass, wouldn't the orange still be in my right hand? Carol said this was the best answer he'd had and later said it gave him the idea for the book. Others have struggled harder but not always convincingly to explain the phenomenon, appealing variously to gravity, the psychology of perception and philosophy. Why does a mirror reverse right and left but not up and down? An answer you'll often hear is that a mirror doesn't reverse right and left, it reverses front and back. This is certainly true, the looking glass you is facing in the opposite direction to the real you. But this short, crisp explanation doesn't completely dispel the mystery. The fact is, if you imagine that the mirror isn't there, and that instead you're looking at a real flesh and blood twin of yourself, that twin is differently handed. If you have a watch on your left wrist, the person you're facing has his or her watch on the right wrist. The mirror has done a left-right swap, surely. At any rate, something has happened to left and right that hasn't happened to up and down. To be more convinced of this, hold a book up to the mirror and try to read it. If no left-right swap has happened, why is the reflected writing so hard to read? Firstly, remember that you're only looking at an image. The mirror hasn't, Lewis Carroll's fantasy aside, created something of opposite handedness. Secondly, appreciate how the writing appears in the mirror's frame of reference. This is easy to do by looking at the writing from the other side of the page, that is, back to front, thereby undoing the back to front reversal caused by the reflection. From the mirror's point of view, the writing looks perfectly normal. 